So we have a nice bread and butter case here. So this patient had port catheter placement. It's kind of high up here in the neck, but it's an IJ line. But instead of coming down here after crossing midline to the brachiocephalophane into the SVC, so ideally these lines should be placed somewhere in the superior aspect of the right atrium, maybe cable atrial junction, but typically we see these in the superior aspect of the right atrium. Remember, cable atrial junction, there's two nice landmarks that I use. So you follow the bronchus intermedius, and where that joins up with the right heart border, that's very close to the cable atrial junction. Some people actually use the sort of um, the convexity of the right atrium, because this convexity is comprised mostly of the right atrium, and where that evens out and joins up with the superior vena cable, which is straight up and down, obviously that would be the cable atrial junction or very close to the cable atrial junction. Other people do things like um, they'll find the crina and they'll try to measure vertebral bodies, for example. So here are two vertebral bodies, and here's the the carina, and so they, so around here should be where the cable atrial junction should be, a little low, I think, it's probably a little higher there, but that'll give you a ballpark. But bottom line, as long as you use one of those and use it consistently, and then maybe just in your mind's eye, have an internal reference for cases in which maybe it doesn't make sense. So I think as long as you use one of those, you'll probably be okay. I'm partial to the bronchus intermedius approach. So instead of terminating down there, we see that this line does this weird thing where it looks like it's probably a little redundant back here. So what vessel is this in? This is actually a pretty classic imaging appearance. So we know that right here, just above the right main stem bronchus, we have the asgus vein, and on lateral indeed, this is the course of the asgus vein right in here. And then we have a little bit of a loop posteriorly within the asgus system. For those of you guys who need TCCT, I think most people would just, who again are familiar with this, would be pretty satisfied with that. But here's that line, that, that port catheter, crosses midline through the brachiocephalic vein, comes down here, then goes to the asgus system, asgus vein here, eventually terminates back here. And so why is that? Well, you know, this guy's had lines before. There's a little fibrin sheath left over in the superior vena cava there. And as we follow the superior vena cava down, it becomes almost completely obliterated. So there is a clearly severe SVC narrowing, and that makes that line go into the azica system rather than the SVC, just because there's nowhere to go in that SVC. And if we look more anteriorly, you're going to see these collateral vessels, which are obviously in reaction to that superior vena cava obstruction. Also note the enlarged internal mammary vein on the right. So these collaterals form trying to get around that superior vena cava, severe narrowing or perhaps even obstruction. No contrast on this. It's actually pretty amazing if you think about how much you can tease out in the vasculature even without giving contrast. So a nice lesson there.